I made a little list here of some of the projects that DARPA has played a key role in uh, over the last few decades. You've got the internet, GPS starting in 1959, uh, virtual reality, satellites, stealth aircraft, UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, night vision, precision guidance, smartphones, even Siri. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's, it's a tremendous heritage. And of course, the challenge for those of us who have the privilege of serving at DARPA today, our job is to make the investments now in 2014 that become those kinds of transformations for the next generation. Give me an example of a surprise that DARPA created. One example is stealth aircraft um, that allowed our warfighters to go into uh, very contested environments and evade radar, which was an amazing new capability when that became possible. The stealth fighter, the B-2 exactly, bomber. Exactly. Yep. And then on the enabling technology side, 45 years ago, DARPA did this sort of crazy experiment, which was to hook a couple of computers together and have them talk to each other. That was the beginning of the ARPANET, which became the internet today. So Al Gore, eat your heart out, DARPA invented well, the internet. So, uh, you know, Al Gore did a lot to make it the real internet that we've got today, but DARPA planted that, the very first seeds for that. Yeah, so can DARPA say we created the internet or they can say we did something very early that got it going? We, we, we created the ARPANET, which was the predecessor network and the internet grew out of that. And, and like so many of our investments, we plant these early seeds that create a technology base and then after that vast numbers of other and other people across the technology community and a huge amount of entrepreneurship and private capital all of that has to happen to turn those those ideas in the technology base into the internet and the smartphone that you have in your pocket and the technologies that have changed how we live and work. So the smartphone too. DARPA had a role in what we now know as the smartphone. A lot of the technologies that went into the smartphone. So the chip that's in your phone that talks to the cell tower uh, and sends a radio signal uh, actually shares a common heritage with the really sophisticated radars that are on Navy ships that help us see where the adversary is. They both trace back to core technology investments to make semiconductor components be able to send radio waves. So when Siri just isn't listening to me, can I say on <laughs> DARPA? You should, you should try it, see what happens. That would be great. <laughs> see if she responds, see if she gets it together.